And here it is. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, here to connect you with another technical tidbit from a member of the Oracle community. This episode features a second tip from Oracle ace Robin Moffitt. Robin's a principal consultant and trainer at Ritman Mead, where he specializes in business intelligence and data warehouse. So Robin's two minutes starts now. When a user runs a report in OBIE, it generates one or more physical queries that go down to the database to pull the information back. And from a database point of view, all we can see is that it's OBIE running a query. So there's something called connection pool instrumentation that's a really useful thing to set up because what this does is, as well as sending down the physical query to the database to be executed, in line with it, it sends down information like the ID of the OBI user, the dashboard that they're running, and the name of the analysis within that dashboard that's responsible for the query. So this is really, really useful for several reasons. From a back-end point of view for the DBAs, if they see a particularly heavy query hitting the system, they can identify easily which user was it that ran it, which dashboard was it they were running, which analysis within that dashboard was running that query or generated that query. So they can then easily trace back to developers and say, this is causing us a bit of a problem. Maybe it's taking undue resource on the system. From the other end of things, developers can easily identify queries that are running on the database. Maybe they're developing reports, they want to check that things are performing as they ought to be. So they can easily see within Enterprise Manager, for example, the, the SQL that's generated from the query that they're running. And because this connection pool instrumentation sets values within the V$ tables, V$ session, uh, active session history as well, we can easily summarize up and aggregate information about the dashboards that are running. So we can look at uh, over a time period, which dashboards or which analyses are responsible for the greatest workload on the database. So maybe the most amount of I.O. that's being done or the uh, using the most amount of temp space. And we could aggregate that by, by dashboard or by analysis or even by user. So this is a good way to identify the workload on the system and maybe identify analyses that are maybe doing a bit much, bit more work than they ought to be doing on the database. Maybe they're going to be good can candidates for aggregation or better filtering, better predicates on the query, or maybe more appropriate indexing. So we can use connection pool instrumentation for this. We use the before uh, query execute setting on the connection pool within the repository. It's all laid out on this uh, the blog uh, article that's linked to here on the screen. Was that good for you? Nothing short of a miracle. Let us know and stay tuned. <laughs>